Hey guys, welcome back. So in this one, we're going to be looking at how to test models. So I'm in, I'm here in my authentication models, and we don't really have a lot of code. So if we if we went to our to do models, so that's going to be to dos over here. You see that we also don't have a lot of code. So the main goal of testing models is to make sure that our model class is set up in a way that it can really create instances. To test models, we actually don't really need to like access the page and and stuff. That's because we are writing unit tests and we only want to be able to test just this, only this, without really making a request from a user. So what you can do is here in the models, what you can do is we can import the models. You can say that's going to be authentication with models import user. Okay. So here we can have a class, we can call it test models. So test model. So this is going to inherit from test case also. So we can do test case because we want to access assertion methods. So here we just import test case. So from Django dot test import test case. So here we want to create a user and then check if that user really has an email assigned or if the if the if this string object returns the user who was created. Okay, so now that we import user, we need to write a test that actually tests that the user string representation returns the email. So over here we can have a function. So I'm gonna say def test should create user. So to create a user, we can say user equals. We can now use our model. So we can say user objects want to do create user. Let's take the username. So the username here. It's gonna be let's say username and then they say the email it's gonna be email at app.com okay let's set the user's password so set password password one two at let's save the user now that we have the user we can check if the string if the to string method returned the email so that's gonna verify that this user was created successfully and they have an email so over here you can say self dot assert echo so the string of this user should return this email. So we're gonna do email like this. Then let's add it here. Okay, so now if you run back the tests, you see that now they all pass. So that means that in our application, wherever we're using str user, we are enforcing that it should always work. And in that case, that means that if someone really came into our application and they changed this to maybe return username, which is possible. So someone may not know that somewhere in our application, we are basing on the to string method to be the email and we are using it in some cases. So someone may change this asking himself, oh, why did they do it like this? So we can change it. There is no harm in that. So if for that kind of case, if they make something like that and they run back the test, it's going to fail and that's going to make them. So that's going to fail and all the tests that we are really depending on that will fail. And that's then they are going to see that they shouldn't have changed this. So now we can refactor it, make sure that it's still working. So if you run this, things are good. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and test out the model for, let's go ahead and test out the model for the to-do. So we're gonna go over here and similarly, we are going to, we're actually gonna have the same, same thing. So I'm gonna copy this to-do test. Then I'm gonna go to to-dos. First off, you know, we delete this test file, tests module. And then we create our own because we want to group all our tests together and make them simpler. So here we can have tests and tests. Then let's have init. Okay. So in here we can have the test model. So for this, we clearly know that our model expect to have a user. So whenever we are creating a to do, we need to have a user, a user created first. So over here, we are going to create a user like this. Actually, we're going to reuse something. Okay, so now we will have a user here. So after we get a user, now we can now create a to-do. So here we can say something like to-do equals to-do. So let's import to-do. This is gonna be from to-do dot models import to-do. So here you can say to-do. So we can now say, so here you can say title equals uh by milk description 
equals get it done. So now if we call to do dot save. So now if we call to do dot save, we should be able to assert that the string representation of this to do. So assert equals. So string representation of this to do will be equal to. Let's see. Let's make sure that's the case. Will be equal to the title. So currently the title is gonna be by mail. If someone changes that code, we should catch it before we we imagine their changes. And later I'm going to be showing you how to use GitHub Actions to make sure that these tests are ran on every push. So if you run back the test, you said now it actually fails. That's because here when we were creating the to do, we didn't pass the we didn't pass the the user. So here we can also pass the owner. So owner is going to be the user here. Okay. So now if we run back this test, you can see that it passes and everything is good. So that's gonna do it for now. So in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to properly arrange this test and make sure that we are not really repeating ourselves when we are really writing things like test data and also the requests we make. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.